Hi everyone, welcome to this video where today we're going to be talking about how to calculate the area of a circle, really easy, and then how to calculate the area of a sector, which is just part of a circle, kind of like a little wedge or a slice of pie or a slice of pizza. Um, okay, so first off, let's take a look at the area formula for a circle. We should already know this formula. It's simply area is equal to pi r squared. So if I gave you the radius and I called it 5, and there's my radius in my diagram, I would simply do area equals pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25. I can leave this as my actual final answer, just simply 25 pi units squared. Or if you're asked to round to the nearest tenths place, go ahead, do 25 times pi in your calculator, round to the tenths place. All of my problems, I'm going to show you both methods, leaving in pi and rounding to the nearest decimal. Um, and you would get 78.5 units squared. And I put the little squiggly line to say it's approximately that amount. That's how easy it is to find the area of a circle. It's just pi r squared. So now for area of a sector. A sector is a portion of the circle that's created by a central angle. So you'll see that from the center of the circle, there's going to be the two radii that you know go out in either direction. So here I have this radii, this uh, these radius uh, radii, and a radius here, which I'm going to label in just a moment. And once I have that radius 5, I don't know, know the area of the entire circle. I just want to know this portion. But what I need to know is what is the central angle of this sector. And so here's what the formula looks like. It's got the pi r squared in it, but it's got x over 360. And x represents whatever this angle measure is. So I don't want the full 360 out of 360 times pi r squared. I want whatever portion out of 360 multiplied by pi r squared, so I get that fraction of the, air, the area. So if I was to take 5 for my radius, if that's what I'm given, and then I only want to know the area of this sector that's got 100 degrees in it, it would be 100 over 360 times pi 5 squared. Now you can go ahead and do 5 squared is 25, 25 times 100 is 2500. I simplified 2500 over 360 to get 125 over 18. And then if I really needed a decimal answer, it would be 21.8 units squared. So the area of the entire circle is 78.5. The area of just this portion of that circle, like a big chunk of pi, is 21.8. Let's look at some more area formula problems. Really simple. If I give you the radius, here clearly the radius is 6. So the formula is just pi times 6 squared. 6 squared is 36, so I can call it 36 pi, or put it in my calculator and get 113.1. Next one, this 15, when you see it at the center and it's not clearly noted the way this radius was, that means 15 is the entire diameter. So 15 is the diameter, but diameter is not in my formula. I need the radius. I simply take half of 15, which is 7.5. I would need to do 7.5 squared, which is 56.25. I can call it 56.25 pi or plug it in my calculator and get my 176.7. Here, it's actually telling me the area of the circle. So if the area is 16 and I wanted to find the radius, so I would go ahead and plug 16 in for my area and I need to solve for r. Well, my numbers on both sides are my 16 and my pi. Remember, pi is a, con it's a number. And if I divide both sides by pi, and round to the tenths place, I'm going to get 5.1 uh, is about r squared. And I'm going to use that approximately because it's obviously not exact. Then take the square root on both sides, and I would get a radius of about 2.3. Same thing here. If I gave you the area, but then I said find the diameter. So the area is 31.4 equals pi r squared. We'd have to divide both sides by pi. I got about 10. Then take the square root. But then if it says find the diameter, I would need to then double it. Here, I want to know the area of the shaded in sector for each one of these. So here, it would be 120 over 360 times pi 4 squared. That just becomes some math, guys. 4 squared is 16. I would do 16 times 120 divided by 360 and multiply it by pi to get 16.8. And you can see the rest of these are pretty straightforward. 200 over 360 times pi 6 squared. 6 squared is 36. 
multiply that by my fraction times pi, and I end up getting 62.8. Next one, 180 is kind of fun because 180 is just half of 360, so I'm really just doing 10 squared is 100 multiplied by a half, which is 50, so it's 50 pi or 157.1, and then 90 is 90 at 360 is really just one fourth. So eight squared is 64. A fourth of 64 is 16. So it's 16 pi or 50.3 units squared. I hope this was a pretty easy video for you. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.